it's not very often I go fishing with someone else, but today I'm off angling with Tom Holland. Not the Spider-Man guy, but the professional footballer. Hi, Tom. How are you, Rev? You all right? I'm very good, thank you. We've never been fishing before? Never been fishing before, no, but looking forward to it. And catching your first fish as well? Yeah, I can't wait for that. Should you, be good. You've just been to the shop as well, yeah, get some just, provisions? Just to get some fruit and uh, some water. Well, Tom's well stocked up. I've got the bait, I've got the tackle. Next stop, the water's edge. You've never been fishing before. So far, we haven't cast a line yet, but what's your experience been like? No, I really like it, Rev. Really good, really relaxing. Um, uh, yeah, really calming. Looking forward to hopefully catching something. Well, it's been very wet and very windy. Fortunately, the uh, rain has held off at the moment. Hopefully that's the case from now on. Yeah, hopefully, hopefully it brightens up a bit. Uh, we've got our, we've got some tea haven't we have got some chocolate so hopefully it's stay, we stay dry and um yeah we'll have a nice chat are you ready are you ready to cast ready, out ready to go let's go let's, come on let's do it well tom you're about to cast out for the very first time we just had a little tuition this is when it gets really down to business now can you remember what you have to do Absolutely i can see you there not. playing around with the reel <laughs> I think you've got a bit of a tangle hey, there. Up. I'll tell you what, let's start again. In the right middle of this. Take two, Tom. Fingers there. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, put the finger on the line so that it doesn't get into a tangle. Lift the bail arm up. You'll hear it click. Yeah. And then drop it out just off the edge there. Oh, I heard the plop. That was good. Now, just pull your rod back. Oh, it doesn't. You've got to let the uh, lead lead at the bottom. I'll tell you what. We might need take three. Might here. need take three. Yeah. Bail arm off. Let the lead sink to the bottom. Tighten up. Just put the rod down, and we'll be ready to go. Third time lucky, as they say. Just about. Tom, footballers are perhaps more well known for their pursuit of golf, but you're not a golfer. What made you want to at least have a go at fishing? Um, fishing, uh, it's always something that just kind of interested me really. Keep just, your eye on the rod tip as oh, well. Yeah. Don't forget, as soon as that tip goes, you strike, and yeah, we don't yeah. want to lose the next one. Oh, we got it, we got it. Um, yeah, just something that interests me. It looks always see people doing it. They look very chill, very relaxed. A bit, a bit envious of that. So mm. thought I'd, you know I could find another hobby, something, something else I like, other than football. And today it's oh, quick, quick, pull, oh, pull, oh, pull, oh, pull, oh, pull. Oh, go, 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 go on. Oh no! <laughs> he was, he was that was a, that was a was good high, one. Yeah. Well, that snapped the line. That is that. That was a big fish. Did you feel it on the end? Yeah, it was a bit. That, that was a big fish. Do you <laughs> remember I told there. you about flicking that little yeah, switch? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We needed to do that yeah. then. Oh. <laughs> you should have jumped in, Rev. I'll tell you what, we got third time lucky with your casting. Yeah, yeah, Shall yeah. we get third time lucky with the fish? Go on, go on. Now, where were we, Tom? You've got your bait in the water. You've had a couple of fish on. One came off. You've, you've lost one. But that was a good one that you lost. You felt that, didn't you? I felt it, yeah. It felt pretty big. Was this a nice thrill, pulling into a fish and feeling the, the fish on the other end of the line? Yeah, it's just uh, it's a bit disappointing, isn't it? Just pulled it, pulled it too hard, didn't I? Just lost it, I think, next time. Oh, I'd you've be... got one there, Tom, you've got one there. I'll tell you when to strike, I'll tell you when to strike. Go on, then, you've already lifted. Have you got it on? We're going to get you that fish for sure. Let's talk football, shall we? Tom, you're from Yorkshire. It's a great county, big county. Sheffield in the south borders with the traditional counties of Westmoreland and Cumberland in the west, Hull in the east, Middlesbrough in the north. Middlesbrough in the north? I'm not sure I'd agree with that, Rev. Well, we've had one or two discussions, haven't yeah, we, along the way? I think you should put that to your viewers. Who, where, where does Middlesbrough lie, Yorkshire or Teesside? Teesside is a created administrative county. Middlesbrough is in the traditional historic county of Yorkshire. And anyone listening from Middlesbrough will instantly be replying on this one and telling us that I'm right. <laughs> and as a Yorkshireman, you should know better. But back to football, Tom, and uh, being serious now. 
you started with Bradford City, moved to Leeds United. Yeah, moved um, moving out when I was about 11, 12, played, all, played there, played at City, the scholarship at City, um, played for Ireland, somewhat of a protege, one might say, for a young player. Rev. You're going to get that cup of tea out? We'll, we'll get, OK, let's get the, the cup, cup of tea. tea. I'll make the cup of tea. Yeah. Oh, you've got one there, you've got one there. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Oh, you've lifted, you've lifted. Should I not lift it? No, 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 no. no. You, you had a bite, a but we have to let the bite develop. Let, let's okay. pull it out and let's see what the state of play is as far as the smaller, maggot is concerned. So, Tom, back to the football. And I know you've played for Ireland because in my football collection is... Yeah. Oh, you've got one. You've strike, 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 strike. Lift, lift. Well, lift. <laughs> Too quick. Too quick, yeah. Or not quick enough. Quick enough right, or not yeah, quick or enough. Let's uh, let's get let's get back out there again. Can you remember how to cast out? Yeah, just about. Because you play for Ireland. Because in my football collection, my memorabilia collection, is one of your caps. The brol is going there. I think I'm going to have to take it down <laughs> because it's not wet anymore. I've one got... of your caps on the under 17s. Yeah. And also the shirt that you played in as well. You cast that out, and we'll have a, another natter. So playing for Ireland, although you're English by birth, and I know you're proud to be an Englishman, but uh, grandparents mean that you were able and eligible to play for the Republic. Yeah, my granddad's um, from Cavan, which is just in Southern Ireland, but north of Southern Ireland. Um, so yeah, through him I was able to play for Ireland at the 17s, 19s and 21s. Yeah, and loved it there, really enjoyed it. And as I said, Tom, I've got one of your caps in the under-17s, also one of your shirts as well. And as you know, it's on my wall, and that's where the very treasured possessions go. No, yeah, it's lovely. It's a lovely wall, Rev. Um, lots of nice shirts. I might actually grab one myself. I could use that for five side in the two weeks off. Um, and we went round to yours, didn't you? Mrs. cut me a lovely... put a lovely spread on, didn't she? Very good indeed. Some some ulcers, but pizza, bit of garlic bread was yeah, really good. Then from Yorkshire, you moved across the Pennines to Manchester City. Yep, Man City. Um, was there for four years. Um, three of which, one of which was at the new academy where they are now. So. Obviously, I feel like. Oh, we've got. Did you have one then? Oh, I might have. Let's get on you there, Tom. No. I'll tell you what, you've got you've got the right thing. You're watching that rod tip. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's going there. Get ready. Get ready. Wait till it goes. Wait till it goes. Leave the rod and then and then strike. That's it. Go, 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 go. Have you got it, Tom? Got it. Got it. Yes. Got yes. It, yes. Got come it, got on. It, yes. <laughs> get up, yeah. Come on. <laughs> bring it in. Bring it in. Oh, bring no. it in. <laughs> I'm trying. Yeah, you got it's, it, a, yeah. it's a little rud. I, I'll tell you what. We'll get this off the hook. It's it took cleanly, and we'll uh, we'll we'll show this properly <laughs> in a moment or two. Your first fish time, a rud. Your first fish. First fish. Are you proud of that one? Absolutely buzzing. What type of fish is it? It's a it's a rud. Just a small one, but they're beautiful colours. Nah, they aren't all they? count, don't they? Yeah? They all count indeed. Small things come in. That interesting, huh? And then we're going to go take it home now and eat it, aren't we? <laughs> Got it, yeah? Tom! Fuck! Why were you reacting like that to that tiny little fish? Face it, mate. Just big, out, big, man. strong. Midfielder like you, known as Chopper for the way that he plays football, a Yorkshire Terrier on the pitch, <laughs> and you're frightened of a, of a three inch perch. Move quick. Well, Move they, there quick. you go, Tom, your, your second fish that you've caught. Yeah. No, I'm happy with this one. Didn't have to work as hard, would you? You're doing very well so far. Enjoying it? Two, I know, yeah, it's good. Yeah. It? So after Manchester City, which was a very enjoyable time, you moved to another city, in another country, across the border, Swansea City. Swansea, yeah. That good? Uh, footballing wise, not great. No, I didn't really, my two years didn't really play there much, but um, 
enjoyed it. I love living there, do you know what I mean? Made some good yeah. friends. Like, lovely place to live as well. Really nice. I think if I was to go back now, I was um, obviously like a much more older person. You know, I, was, I think I was 19, 18 when I first went there. I'm 24 now, much more mature. I'd, um, I'd have gone to see more. That, that's ones you have to offer. Do you know what mm. I mean? The beats, they got mumbles and stuff like that. <coughs> I'd have been loving, uh, loved to live somewhere like that now. You know, when I was 18, I'd just come up from training and play on your Xbox, do you know what I mean? Go yeah. to the cinema, stuff like that. So, but no, it was, even if it wasn't the most positive football wise, it's still an experience. That's mm. the way I like to look at it. Well, you'd probably be fishing there now, some great sea fishing down on the Gower. Absolutely. And then you moved north, still played your football in Wales, but the domestic league, that's when you came to the New Saints. Yeah, that's when I came to TNS. I think I was 20 then. And I've got two years, won the league twice, won a couple of cups. That's where I met you, on it? It was, yeah. I, re I remember the very first interview we did, Tom. We were in Scotland. You'd just signed, hadn't you, the day yeah, before. Yeah, yeah. You travelled with the team to the pre-season uh, tour. We did, we, did a, we did those over a number of years at that particular time. Mm -hmm. I can't remember who we played that year, would have been Rangers. Might have been Aberdeen, St Johnston, I can't remember now. St Johnston, yeah. St Johnston, uh, Rangers, and I think we played perhaps one other team as well. And then, you, well, you, you went to Ireland, didn't you? You moved to Waterford. I did, yeah. <coughs> um, to end of the second season, wasn't it? 2012. Yeah, and you came back and came back, yeah. that's where you are now. And to be in it. And you've got your TNS hat on, well actually you've got my TNS hat yeah. on. And I think it's just starting to rain a bit, isn't it? It's starting to rain, so we'll stop filming right now because I think we need to get the brolly up again. Not for us, but so that our maggots don't escape, the iPhone doesn't get wet, and the rest of the gear can stay dry oh, as well. Come on, yeah. Come on. There we go. <sighs> That's a nice good in there, Tom. The very first fish that I caught way back in the 1960s before you were even born. Time to put a maggot on now for yourself. Which way is it? The end is it? The, uh, the broader. The broader. The broader section. You'll see a broad section and a point. Go for the broad section of the maggot and, and nick it just, just very, very gently, not too deep because all the juice squirts out. So just there, that's good, that's good. That's very good. You're like a pro already. <laughs> right, Rev, we seem to have caught a big one here, huh? We, we have indeed, Sam, well, we certainly hooked into one and I did take over the rod, of course. Yeah. And I don't know if you can get that on there, the, the top, oh, the brawn is going, we'll get that, we'll get that <laughs> in, a, in a while. It's a windy, it's a very wet and windy, so we still, day. Have we still got him then, or what? I've, st I've still got him on. Right. It's either a, a small carp or a chub. Seemed like a big one, didn't it? Yeah. And we were talking about the, the reel. Now you flick that switch at the back, which means you can backwind. Yeah, yeah. And we've needed to do that. That was the problem when we had that first one, Tom, the one that, that broke you. Yeah, it was, uh, it's, you know, it's my first day fishing, so it probably just come a bit early for me to uh, take charge with that one. But you, know, you moved over quick, to be fair, Rev. Fast yourself, fast. Fastest yeah. I've ever seen you move. Oh, it's a nice carp, Tom. It's a nice carp. You got it, eh? Well, it's on the end at the moment. Hopefully, I will be able to. Well, it's uh, it's seen us, and it's headed back into the deeper water. So what we need to do, we are in control. Right. And what we need to do is to make sure we stay in control. We need to bring it into the open water so that we avoid the overhanging trees because that's of course where it wants to go. Oh it's a nice carp Tom. You can have a nice picture I'm of this one. I'm excited for this one Rev. If we can uh, if we can land it that's the key isn't it? We need to keep it keep it away from these overhanging branches. Oof. It's a nice fish eh? The size of him. <laughs> come on, come on, stay away from those branches! <laughs> a 
Hopefully it has a mind of its own. Oh, it's gone, eh? fish doesn't do the same. There you go, Tom. Here we go. Oh, it's almost in the net. Yes! <laughs> oh. The size of that one. Let's get this one on the mat, which is uh, behind you. Pause it, pause it, pause it, pause it. Right, well, we just caught a good one, haven't we? Caught a big one. Great fish, Rev. Really pleased with this one. First day in. Only caught a big one. Terrific. Are you enjoying yourself, Tom? That's the question. Yes, of course. Really good. Just caught a couple, haven't we? Four, is it? Four today. Yeah, you've had a couple of perch, haven't you? A rod, a carp, good yeah. gin, five. Don't sell yourself short. <laughs> Do you think you could get into fishing? Is that something you could do or or you're not sure? Definitely good now. Yeah. Have I converted sure. you? Yeah, I think so. Um, just come down here with... We've got Udo. Oh, go on. Oh. No. Oh, I thought I had it. Yeah. Did you, did you feel it on there? Yeah, but why, why did I not have it? I don't get it. It's sometimes about striking at the right time. Right. Very rarely will a fish, in the way we're fishing, just hook itself. You, you, or you've, uh, the line's gone down. You need to just put the bail line back on. And then reel in, because so you've, you've let too much line out. Reel in a little bit, so you see the lead appear above the water. That's it, that should be there nearly now. Then don't forget to put your finger on the line. Flick the bail arm off. We'll make an angler of you yet, Tom. Uh, oh, <laughs> I've done it again. Just put, put the bail arm back on. Reel in. Tighten up. Right, here we go. Yeah. Bail arm. Hang on, you've got a sucked maggot there. I'll need to change that for you. So, Rev. Um... Apart from fishing, what else do you like to do in your free time? I like football, so like you, I'm very privileged to make a living from the beautiful game. Obviously we're on different sides of the fence, so to speak. You're a footballer, I'm doing the media side of things. I enjoy that. I Oh, you've got one there, Tom. Wait till it goes again, wait till it goes. Here yeah, we go. here we go. go on. Pull into that one. Oh, come on, what have we got there? Yeah, looks like a small it? perch. You're gonna get that one off, are you? <laughs> You're sending it on a on a fun fair ride. Shall I get it off for yeah, you? Crack on. Yeah. That was a, a nice little fish there. Tom, you stuck yeah. at the right time. Do you want to hold that? Put the rod down and, and show us what you've got there. Little perch. Let's put it in the, right in the water. Or something. Yeah, that'll be yeah. okay. Just a little one, isn't it? It's little, it's slimy. Just a little small one, isn't it? Nice little. What's that there? Nice little wing, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it's a dorsal wing? fin. It's, a little, a fin. <laughs> wing. <laughs> it's my, it's my favourite fish. That's quite pretty. The perch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're, they're a little bit washed out on here because it's a very murky pool. But when you get clear water, yeah, yeah, they yeah. are fantastic fish. Put, okay. put that one back. You, you've got the hang of this now, Tom. Right. <laughs> it's good. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> You're supposed to put the hook in the fish, or at least in the maggot. That's what you're trying to do now. You, you need to take the rod back a little bit because it's uh, it's too tight there. There you go. <laughs> what a day. Just just hook it in the broad end. There's a pointed end, and there's a broad end. Just hook it oh, in the broad end, just very very gently. They don't bite. Right at the very end. So you, you hook it just just nick it almost. It. That's good. Is the, it, does the hook go does the hook point go right the way through? Yeah. Okay, that's good. Let's cast out again. See if you can catch another fish. Is that loose is at the minute? That's fine.
bail off. Yep, bail arm off. Make sure you hold the line in the one end. The bail arm off. I think you've got it. Got it off. You've got it off, okay. Yeah. Just drop it. We've got deep water right in front of us. Let the lead at the bottom. That's important. I don't think it's at the bottom yet. I think you need to let more light. That's it. That's it. Now put the rod down. And then bail. just yeah, put the bail arm back on. Just try and lift the tip out of the water. It's it's submerged at the moment. That's that's good. That's good, you can keep it there and wait till it goes. So you ask him what I like to do, Tom, obviously football. I enjoy nature as well, love nature. And you saw my garden with the bird feeding station and the, the birds visiting every, every few seconds really. And nature especially, fishing and nature, they go hand in hand together. So watch wolves. I haven't been to Molyneux itself for quite some time. Obviously no fans allowed in the last uh, year or, or more now. So I've been watching on television, but I did have a season ticket before I started to work for the New Saints. Oh, there, you, the rod's going again. When the, when the tip goes, yeah. get the strike right. Yeah, it is. You've got a big one on there? Aye. I'm going to net this one for you. What does it feel like? Yeah, don't be, don't be too... excited. Yeah. Where's he gone? Try, and, try not to bully it too much. Okay. I'll hold the rod up in the air. Try and hold the rod up in there. Let more line out if you need to. There's a good bend in the rod there. Now try and bring it in. But, but if it makes a lunge, let it go. The fish is in open water, it's not going to get snagged. Let it go if it needs to, but then try and bring it in. Do you feel good? Can you feel the pull on the end? No, I want to concentrate. I think we're in control here, Tom, and we've got the finishing line in sight. Just getting away. Here we go. Try and bring it up in the water and then I'll net it. There you go. Yes! Get in ya! Nice one there. Good one, isn't it? Happy with that? Very happy. How heavy is this one, Rev? About six pounds, is it? That's um, a good guess. I think probably yeah. a probably a little bit uh, lighter than that, but good guess there. Not, not, not the biggest we've caught caught today, is it? But certainly not the smallest either. Quite a good one. We've got a weak one, didn't it? I thought we might not get it, but we have so terrific. So roach rev, my first roach of the day. Lovely. Uh, had a brilliant day, haven't we, Rev? Uh, caught a couple of fish. Um, you know, it's been nice, spent about four hours sat by the lake. Um, very relaxing, uh, good, had a good day. Thanks for, thanks for bringing us here.